Next, I want to introduce you to the current cropper, a selection from the current crop of sea level rise viewers. These are a host of tools that were um, first, well, they first appeared about a decade or so ago, but really have begun to take off in the last three to five years. This is uh, data overlaid upon existing geographic data using digital elevation models, traditionally using a so-called bathtub type of approach where we simply say a certain area of the coast is X elevation. What would it look like if we had Y level of inundation? So maybe um, our, our piece of property of concern is at half a meter uh, elevation above sea level. What would happen if we added a meter of sea level rise, etc.? So there's several different flavors to choose from, but um, uh, I'm just showing you three. The first one is NOAA's Sea Level Rise Viewer. This is a national product, so you can look across the, uh, uh, the US, and you can, it's very easy to just drag and drop. Um, you can do different scenarios and all that kind of good stuff, but for example, if we come in and we say, um, you can type in an address here, and go ahead and go to that. <clears throat> and you can see the areas that are um, at or below sea level at whatever the, the elevation you're talking about is. And you can uh, drag the viewer and you can zoom in and look at the consequence of that to a, a piece of property. This is NOAA's sea level rise viewer. The next one would be our um, a tool that we created with the Nature Conservancy several years ago it was the first one on the West Coast, and now it's um, uh, one of, of several products from around the country. But again, um, in this case, you, it's called the Coastal Resilience California. Click the uh, California sea level rise one. And we can pick a region. Let's pick Ventura, the first one. We'll zoom there, and then we can pick a hazard. And so we can talk about different types of fluvial would be our traditional flooding. Uh, storm flooding, etc. Coastal erosion or rising tide is what you want to check out for our sea level rise um, concerns. And you're going to see uh, the conditions at different points in time and with different uh, um, intensities of sea level rise. So we can pick, say, 2100, and we can say sort of a medium inundation. And this is going to, uh, in this case, this is um, a bit more sophisticated. This is a both a bathtub model. This also included um, habitat conversion. So this uh, tool, when we created it, has um, uh, assumes that the beach, for example, would move inland. Um, and uh, that has some implications for how water moves and and things of that nature. So this is the uh, coastal resilience tool. And the, the last tool we have is the surging seas from um, uh, Climate Central. And so here we can say Ventura County, California, same idea. And again, we can generate, uh, in this case, you can generate fact sheets or you can see the full featured map. So once I'm into the full featured map, once it loads, we can again, play around with the different uh, inundation scenarios. So we can um, uh, zoom in a little bit more, for example, and we can start to play around with uh, different uh, scenarios. The historically uh, accepted three foot or, or one meter or so sea level rise, we can move up to seven, which is um, increasingly being pushed by folks across California to look at how inundated our particular areas may be. Again, all these models um, can use slightly, uh, well, they're, they're all being parametized with the same elevational data, but using slightly different variants in terms of um, what we're talking about in terms of for perhaps simply sea level rise or sea level rise plus storm surge, etc. The point is these are really cool tools, very intuitive, um, especially for, for you all, maybe not for your grandma, but for you all, they're very intuitive, very easy to use and are increasingly uh, useful in discussions, debates, um, uh, what-if scenarios where 
policymakers, where elected representatives, where interested citizens can start to ask the question, should I buy a house here? Um, maybe we need to change some infrastructure where we move it to. So these sea level rise viewers are really helpful, really useful, and I want you to play around with these and see uh, if you can garner any insights and possibly any potential solutions for the conditions we have here in Southern California.